So, wow. Dr. Betty. Yes, darling. What does an orgasm feel like, love? Oh, it feels good. But what does it actually feel like? Uh, like a volcano is erupting. <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> Sometimes an orgasm can be like a little, little reflex, a little sneeze. And it's cute, and it's sweet, and it feels good. But it's not like, you know, earth-shattering. Earth-shattering. No. And, and some are. And then there's the middle scale where you, you're building, and, you, and it feels good. And then you might lose it for a little while. It's like, oh, something's broken. Exactly. And don't freak out. Just keep on going, right? And then you'll pick up another beat, and you get, oh, I've got, I've got it again. I've got the groove again. And it's there, like surfing. And, yes, catch the wave. And then there are those orgasms that are profound. And sometimes they can, like, creep up out of nowhere. Like, you don't think you're going to have a big one. It's like week, and that's when day, it's sex or something, and it's late, and it's a quickie, and you don't think it's going to be... You have no expectations, and yeah. therefore it is fabulous. It's when we're lying there saying, and this happens all the time with my clients, am I getting close? Is this it? Am I going to come? 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 The neurosis creeps in. Oh, or, you know, or, or you're focused on you know, doing it faster, doing it harder. I'm going to make myself come. I'm going to come. Remember the one time a woman was using a vibrator and she was just, I'm going to come. I'm going to have an orgasm. And she pressed down, pressed down. I'm going to have an orgasm. And, of course, the next day she had a sore on her pussy from the She had a vibrator. A vibrator burn. Ch chafed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus that vibrated that road rash. <laughs> well, she vibrated a piece of the skin off, you know. I mean, so it's so individual. And that's what's beautiful about it, I think. Yeah. You know, to have an orgasm, you have to let your, get your mind out of there. Get your mind away from what's going on. Which is why I love sex. And in order to get your mind out of it, have a fantasy. Think of something sexual. Tell yourself a story. And be deviant. It doesn't matter what it is if it gets you hot. I yeah, think. she's going to put his cock and both of his balls in her mouth. That's <laughs> not what I fantasize about. <laughs> I couldn't resist. We are holding in our minds the Hollywood image or the porn image. Oh, 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 I practically <laughs> passed out. Oh, I could see stars and the birds. The fireworks went like off. It. it was amazing. No, darlings, it can be as like it be. Mm. Oops, I missed it. Sweet. No, but no. <laughs> what? No. It's not that you missed it. It wasn't as big as you anticipated. And sometimes they're bigger than I anticipate. And those and, are the ones that actually freak me out. Where out of nowhere, I'm like, oh! <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> and it's because you're not anticipating. You have an open mind. So the whole thing is, don't judge them. Try to let go of your expectations. And trust your body. Get out of your mind and trust your body. Your body knows exactly what to do.